My name is Nicholas Felton. I'm an information designer based in Brooklyn, New York. The way I tend to work is, unlike being given text or images, I'll work from data. So all my work usually involves code in some respect, analyzing a data set, trying to find the stories in it and create some beautiful and informative output. I'm best known for an annual project I make called the Feltron Annual Report. For this, I track my activities over the year and turn it into a booklet that aggregates these actions into charts and graphs. My work in data has also led to gigs with Facebook, where I help to design timeline, and for other clients who have data but don't know exactly what to do with it. I was excited to work with L2 because of the incredible amount of data that they have. Um, I felt that there was an opportunity here to look really high level at the data they've collected and to see whether there are stories connecting the different industries that they track. So this is my sketchbook from first day after we'd spoken about the potential approaches. And I was just trying to figure out ways of um, taking some of this data, one that had four different categories, and to take this, these four dimensions and turn them into a, a flat representation. Um, here you can see there's a bunch of four column approaches. And so I started playing with distributions and seeing how the scores aligned for different brands through it. So in order to have something a little bit cleaner to um, pitch my ideas, I made a little illustrator sketch of how I could see the different pieces of data laying out in these, these four columns, um, one for each of the different meta metrics that go into the digital IQ score. This was one approach where you can see a kind of highlighted version and how the scores of different brands might break down across these different dimensions. This first visualization just looks at all the 1800 brands and how they lay out in these five different levels you can be at in each of the different dimensions, site and e-commerce, digital marketing, social, and mobile and tablet. This next visualization starts to look at the entire ecosystem and the patterns that emerge when you look at one quadrant of these different dimensions. In this visualization, I'm starting to overlay a single study, in this case, specialty retail in 2015, over the entire landscape of all the brand studies. And here you can see some of the, some of the different brands emerging and how they compare to the entire ecosystem. So all that exploration led to this prototype tool. And here you can select one of the studies and you can see the entire distribution within one. This is EU beverages in 2015. And then by highlighting one of the quadrants, um, these would go from, from genius to feeble in the data set. You can see all the different brands in that quadrant and how their um, brand IQ is distributed across the other dimensions of the study. Finally, we're looking at one data set. This is specialty retail. And in this one, you can delve even deeper into the data. It's not a completed prototype, but by clicking on one of the different dimensions, you can start to see, say in social, how um, different brands are doing across things like Facebook and Twitter, and how these scores add up into their aggregated social score within the data set. I think this, this week, ties nicely to the work that I do. I'm really interested in working in novel data sets, things that no one else has access to, which is why I tend to do a lot of hard work to come up with unique data. And I like the similarity here that there's just an enormous room of people scouring the world to, to come up with these novel data sets. So it's really fun to work on that. I think that one of the things that's been really rewarding about this week is seeing how some of the data scientists have responded to this visual representation of the data that in some sense they're so familiar with. They know the numbers really well, they know the methodology really well, but by showing the entire set of all the brands or a whole study in this way, I see them pulling out new stories and how it's validating their assumptions that they'd made earlier on. And that was really rewarding. Thank you.